Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna upgrade my old laptop uh, to solid state drive. Um, this laptop is about 10 years old. It's a Samsung NP300 series. There's nothing fancy about it. It's uh, just the Intel Pentium processor in it. I think so anyway. And the normal hard drive. So I'm gonna show you the speed difference before and after. And here we go now, I'm gonna power it on. This is now before, obviously. It's gonna take a little time. And by the way, it's not the slowest either with Windows 10, it, it only has four gigs of RAM. So it's actually not the worst. I've seen way worse laptops where the boot time is approximately a minute or maybe two minutes even in worst cases. So this is actually pretty okay. So this is it. It's almost 40 seconds, 39 seconds to boot and I'm gonna show you now the speed if you just boot up your laptop and you're gonna open some folders or whatever you're gonna open there. It's, as I said, it's not the worst, it's still pretty well usable, but it is slow, same time, as you can see yourself. I'm just opening a few bits so you can see that it, it you can see the speed it's up to you to decide now what is slow what is fast like i'm not used to, to that type of speed now i have to say maybe you are and if you are used to it if you can upgrade your laptop you're gonna notice some serious difference especially when you boot up and start opening either your browser or folders or if you have microsoft office on it or anything like that at all so Okay, I'm gonna power it off now, getting ready to upgrade. So 40 seconds was the boot up speed at the moment. That's how the laptop looks now. It's, it is rough, it's old, it is 10 years of age, like so nothing fancy about it. Although you can still go to YouTube and watch like maybe HD videos, not 4K videos because laptop is just not able for it anymore. I could have speed up things a little here now, but that's fine. Just before you do anything, remove the battery. And here, I'm not gonna upgrade the uh, RAM, just the hard drive itself to solid state drive. So I'm just gonna take off these four screws there. It's a little bit boring now, I have to say, but um, if you bear with me, you're gonna see some serious results here. It's not gonna be super fast either now, it's not gonna be like a 10 second boot, because you are still limited by the actual components on the motherboard, which is CPU, etc. So, and RAM, ra RAM wouldn't be a big thing now when you boot the laptop, at least four gigs is, is more or less enough. But you can upgrade these laptops to 8 gigs as well, so there's 4 gigs of RAM at the moment in there, so if you get another 4, four gigs, it's DDR3 RAM on this laptop, so... This is the hard drive now, what's in it at the moment. They are okay hard drives, I use them for storage maybe now, I wouldn't use it for operating system anymore, because... They are slow and Windows 10 is just not running well with these drives. The point of this video is that even 10 year old laptop is worth upgrading. Solid state drive now, let's say anything above 200 gigs will cost you maybe $30 if you get a good deal. If you buy a used one, you might get even cheaper one. So. Yeah, that's a 500 gig now. You can keep that and buy an external case for it and use it as external hard drive for your movies or important files or whatever you have there. That's the solid state drive now I'm gonna put in. That's 2.5 inch hard drive as well, so. And it has 240 gigabyte storage capacity. It's okay. And it's actually pretty fast. It's probably too fast for this laptop because the laptop just won't be using all the speed and all that like so, but that's what I have and that's what's gonna go in. 
that's how it looks like now. They're actually very, really good drives, so if you have a better laptop, I can recommend that. I'm gonna leave the kind of a name and description as well, so you know what to buy if you're looking for the same drive. Okay, all that's left to do now is put these four screws back so the hard drive would be safely in the caddy. And it's easy enough to upgrade these laptops so you don't have to open up too much, just a back panel. Depends now, some laptops are awkward and the hard drive could be hidden under a keyboard and all that so you may end up like whatever, lap whatever laptop you have, maybe do a bit of YouTubing or Googling, Go Google it and see how you're supposed to open that or get to the hard drive. This one was really easy and really basic. So you only need one type of screwdriver for that as well. So, and if you have money, I recommend to upgrade uh, your RAM as well also. So I'm going to leave the RAM details in the description as well. So if you're looking for RAM, you can also buy that. They're cheap enough now. They are four gigs probably will go around $20. I never bought them new ones now. I always, if I need them, I buy them used ones. So, and put these four screws back in again now. nearly there now you're gonna see in just in a few minutes now you're gonna see the difference between the boot and actual opening some small apps or just the settings okay i'm happy enough anyway as I, I did show you there, you can upgrade your RAM if you want as well. But the, just the purpose in this video now is just show you the boot speed. And as I said, four gigs is okay for that. But the, if you are gonna be using Office or any anything like that, so I do recommend eight gigs anyway. Four gigs is not enough these days. Put the battery back now and uh, that's pretty much it. I can I can show you the speed now in a second. Okay, all that's left to do now is uh, press the power button again and we're gonna see how long it's gonna take now. As I said before, it's not gonna be like huge, huge difference, but you can see already like it's 10 seconds gone and it's already there, so hmm, not bad. Okay, 18 seconds, so it's twice as fast now. That's really good, actually a bit more than twice, so. And you can see everything I press opens up really, really fast, so. Uh, as I said, for 10 year old laptop, Windows 10, it's pretty good. I'm really happy with it, actually, so. Everything just loads a lot faster and it's just, it's kind of a pleasure to use actual laptop now. I'm opening up the board now and you can see it opens up 2019 really fast. That's pretty good. So if that video was helpful for, for you now and you decided to upgrade and I hope it's gonna work out for you well. If you liked the video, the, press the thumbs up and you know what? Have a good life. Bye bye.